can't believe that they actually wrote that down. So I have a 95% confidence here level. I have a 95% confidence interval here. Means my alpha is 0 0.05, but I don't care about that. I want to find p hats. How are you going to find p hats? R reminder that our confidence interval is our population proportion plus and minus our error. Confidence intervals are symmetric, so that p hat's going to be the value right in between those two. Very good. And in order to find the value in between those two, we just average them. That is an astute observation there, student. That's 0.25 plus 0.16 divided by 2. So we pound that out. 0.205. 0 0.205? That's our p hat right there. How do we estimate the error? Yeah, you're totally leading me with that question. How are we going to find that now that we have the middle value? Well, there's two different ways I can see. I can take that value and subtract off one of the endpoints. You totally could. And then that's going to get you the distance to the center, which is your error. Then why does the book have it like, like, the the book they have the the error, the, 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 the <laughs> upper minus lower <coughs> divided by two? Oh yeah, sure. The book has it that way because the upper minus the over, lower is the width of that interval. Yeah. And then if you divide it by two, then you get half of the width of that in interval. Yeah. So if you're finding the area with the book or error with the book's formula, that's 0 0.25 minus 0.16 divided by 2. Wilmer. Yes, I am. 0 0.045. Which is what you would have gotten had you taken this number and subtracted that. Bye.